Are you ready to start a brand new adventure? Over the next few weeks, we'll be traveling the globe together and learning about our great God. God has different names that remind us who he is and what he's like. So get ready to meet some new friends and see some new places. Well, it's time to grab those suitcases because we are about to be on the go. Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Jet. Everyone calls me Jet because I'm always on the go, jetting around the world and traveling to new and exciting places. I was just packing my backpack and getting ready to head on another adventure. Would you like to go on an adventure with me? Yes! Great! Well, let's get to packing. The first thing I always pack is my favorite stuffed animal. I can't leave it behind. Let me see you pretend to hug your stuffed animal. Good job! And I can't forget to pack some books to keep me busy while I travel. I can take three books, so count with me as I put them in my backpack. One, two, three! Perfect! And I still have room for fun souvenirs to bring back home. One of my favorite things to do when I travel is to take pictures of the places I go. Do you want to see some of the pictures I've taken? Yes! Okay! I've been to the rainforest where I saw all kinds of plants and animals that God made and found the coolest rain stick souvenir. Oh, and I went to a sheep farm in New Zealand. There were fluffy sheep everywhere. It was so fun. Oh, and I just got back from a trip to the sandy desert in Egypt. I love taking pictures of the places I go and the people I meet. Do you like to take pictures of the things you see? Yes! Whenever we see a camera pop on screen like this, we should take a picture. Everyone hold up your camera and say, click, click. You've got it. Travel buddies, I think we're ready to go. Stand up and sing with me. double-decker bus. That must mean we are going to ride a double-decker bus here in England. Now, do you know what we call a person who drives a double-decker bus? Is it a captain or a bus driver? A bus driver. You know it. Let's all wave and say, oh bus driver. A oh bus, bus driver. driver. All aboard. Look, it's the camera. Let's take a quick picture of the bus driver. One, two, three, click. Hello, Jet. 
It looks like you and your travel buddies are ready to set off on an adventure. While we're on the go, you need to follow the two rules. The first rule is to be kind. Jet, can you and your travel buddies say be kind? Be kind! That's it! You can be kind by listening when others are talking. If you can be kind by listening, let me see you click on your listening ears with me. Click, click. click. You got it! Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping your hands and feet to yourself. If you can be safe, let me see you clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. Let's do it together. Clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. We're all set to go. Today we're going to travel to a house fit for a king and queen. That's right, we will explore a castle. There's also a special souvenir to remind you of this royal adventure. It should be a perfect fit. Let me know when you find it. Now, what are we waiting for? Find a seat and let's get on the go. Let me see you pretend to drive the bus and repeat after me. On the bus. On the bus. We will drive. We will drive. On the bus. On the bus. On the go. On the go. Have fun taking pictures and don't forget to find your royal souvenir. We made it! Thanks, bus driver. Traveling to a castle is so much fun. The bus driver was right. This place is royally magnificent. Travel buddies, there's the camera. Let's take a picture of all we see. One, two, three, click. Wow, look how big and beautiful this real life castle is. The bus driver said we would get to find a royal souvenir. Let's look around at what we see until we find something royal. I see a purple flower. Do you see one? There it is. Purple is a royal color, but I don't think it's the most royal thing we could find here at the castle. Let's keep looking. I see a royal soldier. If you see one, point to it. You found it! But I don't think we can take a real soldier home with us. Ooh, maybe our royal souvenir is wrapped in a special box. Do you see a special box anywhere? Of course, how did I miss this beautiful box? I wonder if there's something inside. There's something in here. On the count of three, tell me what you think is in the box. One, two, three. All of those sound like royal gifts for sure. Let's see what's inside. I can't believe it. It's a note from the king himself. Here's what the note says. Good day, fair travelers. I wanted to give you a royal gift fit for a king. Thank you for visiting my castle. Farewell. Look, travel buddies. The king gave us a royal ring. Everyone hold up your hand and put your ring on it with me. This must be our special souvenir. Let's call the bus driver and show him what we found. On the count of three, let's all shout, Oh, bus driver. One, two, three. Oh, oh bus, bus driver. driver. Hello, travel buddies. I see you found a royal ring from the king. Just like the king gave you a good gift, God always gives the best gifts to his children. You know, God has different names that remind us of who he is. And one of the names for God is Father. You and I are God's children, and God is our Heavenly Father. We know that because Jesus shows us in the Bible. Long ago, Jesus told his friends a story about a father who had two sons. The father loved both boys and had a plan to give them some of his land and money when he died. But the younger son didn't want to wait. He wanted his part of the money right away. Even though it made the father sad, he gave his younger son what he asked for. Then the son moved far away and wasted all of the money his father had given him on wrong things. After the money was all gone, the son had to go to work feeding pigs. He was so hungry that he wished he could eat the pig's food. 
One day, the son thought, my father's servants have better food than this. Maybe if I go back, he'll let me be his servant. So the son decided to go back home and tell his dad he was sorry for the wrong things he had done. While the son was still far away, his father saw him coming. He was so excited that he ran to his son and hugged him. The son felt bad for all the wrong things he had done, but the father was just excited that his son had come home. The father said to his servants, bring my son the best robe, put a ring on his finger. Let's have a feast and celebrate. My boy was lost and now he's found. Oh, let's take a picture to remember how the father loved his son, even though he had done wrong things. One, two, three, click. Good job, travel buddies. When it was time for the party, the older son was angry when he heard about all his father was doing for his brother. It's not fair, he complained and refused to go to the party. The father loved this son too and went to find him. The father helped his son see that he had given him everything he had. Instead of being jealous, the older son should be thankful for what he has and happy that his brother has come home. God is like the father in this story, and we are God's children. No matter what we do, God loves us, and he always wants to give us good things. That's because he's a good father. Now, let me hear you say this after me. God is... God is... My father. My father. That's it. You can remember God is your father every time you look at your royal ring. Well, I'm off to get the bus ready to go. See you soon. Thank you, bus driver. Wow, this royal ring will remind me that God loves me and is my father, and God is your father too. Let me hear you say what the bus driver taught us today. Repeat after me. God is... God is... My father. My father. You've got it. This royal adventure has been so much fun, and we've taken some really amazing pictures. Let's look at what we have so far. Oh, look. Who remembers when we took a picture of the beautiful castle? Me too. Did the king who lives in the castle leave us a good gift or a bad gift? A good gift. You know it. The king gave us a royal ring, just like the father gave the son in the Bible story. Let's take a look at our next picture. Ooh, this is a picture from the Bible story we heard today. When the son came back home after spending all of his father's money, was the father upset or happy to see his son? Happy. Yes, the father loved his son, even though he had done wrong things. And even though we do wrong things, God still loves us. He's such a good father. Okay, I think we took one more picture. Let's see. This is a picture of the bus driver. The bus driver taught us that God is our father. God is a good father who loves us and wants good things for each of us. If you know that's what we learned today, then say this after me. God is... God is my father. My father. See, we all know God's name. He is our father. Let's all stand up and sing a song to celebrate.
let me hear you say what we learned at the castle today one more time. Repeat this after me. God is... God is... My father. My father. That's it. I hope you have so much fun on the go. And I can't wait to take another adventure with you next week. Bye-bye.